Let us look at another example of time value of money where we have to find out the interest rate. A friend promises to pay you 600 rupees two years from now if you loan him 500 rupees today. What annual interest rate is your friend offering? So let's draw a time scale to understand this example. So this is 0, 1, 2. These are years. So today you are loaning him 500 rupees. And at the end of two years, you are going to get 600 rupees. So the present value is 500 rupees and the future value is 600 rupees. We have to find out what is the rate of interest per annum. And here we are considering that the interest is being compounded annually. So basically at the end of the first year, the principal or the present value for the second year becomes the original principal that is P v 0 let's say this is 0 this is pv1 plus the interest gained during the first year and then the next year the interest will be calculated on this pv1 so let's use the formula which is the same formula as compound interest so future value is equal to present value into 1 plus r by 100 to the power n. n is the number of compounding periods and r is the rate of interest per compounding period. So here future value is 600, present value is 500, 1 plus r, r is the unknown, divide by 100 to the power n, n here is 2, we have 2 periods or so here these two zeros get cancelled so we get 6 by 5 is equal to 1 plus r by 100 square so 6 by 5 is 1.2 is equal to 1 plus r by 100 square now let's do square root on both the sides so or square root 1.2 is equal to 1 plus r by 100. Let me pull my calculator. So 1.2 square root. So the left hand side is 1.095 and this is equal to 1 plus r by 100 or so 1 will bring on the other side. So r by 100 is equal to 1.095 minus 1 or r by 100 is equal to 0 0.095 or r is equal to now we'll multiply this with 100 so 9.5 percent so you are getting a 9.5 percent interest per annum if your present value of 500 is going to become a future value of 600 in two years. So basically the idea is that, you know, if you are considering various options of investment, so here you can loan to a friend or you can invest in some fixed deposit or you can invest in some securities, bonds, etc. So once you know the rate of interest, the future value, then you can compare these investment options and choose the best that gives you the best return on your investment.